Hi, welcome to Dr. Ram's Medical Coding Academy. This is our second class on this basic medical coding training. Today, the topic is the body systems or the organ systems of the human body. Well, before going to the topic, we need to know what an organ system is or what an organism is first of all. A human body is made up of 30 trillion cells. A trillion is a digit followed by 12 zeros. These 30 trillion cells make up a structure called as a tissues. And the tissues are specialized structure of cells that perform a specialized function. These tissues in turn give rise to the organs. Each of these organs contribute to an organ system an organism is made up of multiple organ systems. The first organ system that we are going to see is the integumentary system. The word integument itself means a covering or a layer. The integumentary system talks about the skin and its appendages including nails. We are not going to deal in depth about each of these organ systems but I just want to give a fair idea about what the curriculum of medical coding is going to be. An aspiring student of medical coding will be taught these basic subjects of medicine. Under this integumentary system, we see the various layers of skin, the epidermis, the dermis, the subcutaneous tissue and all that stuff. We will be talking in depth about each of these organ systems in our separate classes on anatomy. For your information, so in all these basic classes, each such organ system will be taught in detail, including the basic anatomy, followed by the function of all these organs or the organ system, which is a physiology and the pathological conditions that occur in this particular organ system and what are the investigations in diagnosing these conditions. So this is a basic thing that will be conveyed in each of our class. Next, we move on to the musculoskeletal system. As the system says like musculoskeletal, it is made up of the muscles and the skeleton. There are like close to 700 muscles in the human body. A skeleton is a bony framework of bones and joints. The musculoskeletal system details the various muscles and the bony framework of the human body. Before we go further and further, I would request you to have a handbook ready. Please write down or make a note of all these topics or the subjects that we are discussing it. That would help you in a bigger way for your future career. Next comes the nervous system, which includes the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. This system includes the brain, the spinal cord, and the autonomic nervous system and the peripheral structure. Here we will be seeing how the brain is acting as a center and how it controls the various autonomic activities of the human body. Psychiatry. Of course, psychiatry and neurology uh, sometimes is clubbed together. But psychiatry as a system is also examined by the doctor. Here we will talk about the limbic system or the emotional aspects of the brain which helps in the development of emotions or of course the development of various disorders like schizophrenia. Respiratory. To respire, respire itself means to breathe. The respiratory system consists of various organs like the lungs, we have the bronchi, the trachea, the larynx and the nose. The cardiovascular system is also called as the circulatory system when we say cardio, it means heart, vascular means blood vessels. So the circulatory system or the cardiovascular system, we will be dealing about the structures that make up the cardiovascular system. It is simply called as a CVS and how blood is being pumped to various organs of the body. The cardiovascular details, the arteries, the veins, and the capillaries that form a network and help in the circulation of this blood throughout the body. Gastrointestinal refers to the 
alimentary system or the digestive system so we can either call it as the alimentary tract or the gi tract or the digestive tract various organs that make up the gastrointestinal are the throat which is the pharynx the esophagus or the food pipe the stomach the small intestines and large intestines and the rectum we will be dealing in depth about all of these structures in our subsequent classes next comes the auditory system the auditory system is a special sense organ meaning here we talk about the specialized function of the ears the structure of ear is an organ it is again divided into three parts as the external ear the middle ear the internal ear how the sound waves travel from the external ear to the brain ocular system deals with the eyes and its related structures the mechanism of visual transmission and the various structures that are involved in seeing will be dealt with next is the urinary system as the name implies this system talks about the various organs that help in the production of urine and what are the urinary organs with the urinary tract in general we would call this as kub meaning kidney ureter bladder you can also add one more u which is the urethra genital system or otherwise called as the reproductive system as we have the genders as male and female so we will be dealing about the male reproductive system and the female reproductive system the male system contains the testes the seminiferous tubules the ductus deferens the prostate the seminal vesicles and the urethra we will be seeing the diseases that are associated with the male genitalia coming to this genitalia there are two types as external genitalia and internal genitalia the external appearance refers to the external genitalia the internal organs refer to the internal genitalia next is the female genital system or the female reproductive tract here we see the functions of the uterus how ovulation happens how egg is being released and the process of delivery and all that we will also know about the pathologies that commonly involve the uterus the adnexa which is the ovary and the fallopian tube then comes the endocrine system endo meaning within crane meaning to secrete so it is a secretion of the substance internally and hence the endocrine system is called as the ductless system the endocrine organs produce a substance called hormones there are various organs we can name that as a pituitary gland the adrenal gland the thymus gland the ovaries the testes the pancreas etc so we see what are the diseases that come with the elevation and depression of this hormonal secretion and the treatment of such conditions next comes the hematopoietic system hemato refers to blood poiesis meaning production we will be discussing about the conditions where the blood cells are elevated and the conditions where there is depression of the blood cells next comes the lymphatic system lymphatic system is closely associated with the circulatory system because this system we will be seeing the transport of this lymphatic fluid across the lymphatic ducts a lymphatic fluid is nothing but a specialized tissue that contains more amount of wbcs and macrophages this fluid does not contain the red blood cells and the platelets they act as the primary sites of defense mechanism where they process the foreign agents and engulf them and thereby they help in a bigger way finally the lymphatic channels end via the subclavian vein into the heart and thereby the circulation of the lymphatic fluid takes place next comes the immunologic system immunology literally means you know the defense mechanism what are the antigens or what are the now we have discovered infection 
what happens to the body when a patient is exposed to a coronavirus how does the body react now doctors are saying we are giving immune boosters so what is an immunity immunological system elaborates a various types of immunity and the immunoglobulins how an antigen antibody reaction takes place and what are the conditions that result in hypersensitivity and lowered immune status we need to remember all of these organ systems or body systems because while doing medical coding what happens is all these systems will be documented in the medical record so as a coder you need to figure out which symptom or which condition is part of which organ system because there is weightage given to each of these conditions that are going to be classified under these various organ systems so as a medical coder you need to understand and you need to know which condition or which sign or which symptom is classified under each of these organ systems till now you might have have a fair idea about what are these organ systems we will be dealing in depth about each of these organ systems in our subsequent classes with this we have come to the conclusion part of our session so i hope you would have understood this session on the organ systems or the body systems if you have any doubt please reach out to us for any queries or any questions if you are a new person who is watching our videos please see our previous videos the links are provided in the description below we will be providing more insights on medical coding please refer your friends share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching